Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Looney Tunes games on the GBA. Looney Tunes Back in Action is the tie-in game to the movie and unfortunately it follows the tradition of tie-in games being bad. The game had potential, but isometric games usually don't succeed. It makes control harder and if you toss in uninteresting objectives and a choppy frame rate, it's a recipe to fail. In the game you can control Bugs and Duffy and you can switch between them whenever you want. The two have different attributes. Bugs can hover for a few seconds and can also make use of the rabbit holes scattered on the stages. Duffy has a slightly longer jump and can swim only on blue water, but not in the brown water because he has tendrils maybe. They also use slightly different weapons at times. For example, Bugs can use a piano that drops on enemies and Duffy uses an anvil. As for what you have to do in the game, you do fetch quests. And it becomes boring. Level designs aren't interesting, and the isometric view can get annoying. But at least there are some occasional minigames. You get to a racing minigame, which is kind of annoying, and a Bomberman style minigame. And you get different weapons to spice things up in the gameplay, Still, somehow they don't help to ease the repetitive feeling of the game. Overall, the game is incredibly boring. Looney Tunes Acme Antics is a short and basic game, but a fun one. You play as the Roadrunner and have to escape the Coyote. You run automatically and your job is to avoid obstacles. The controls are great, both for the way they were assigned on the console and for how responsive they are. Also the game has boss battles too. It takes you around 1 hour to beat, and while it sounds basic, and may feel basic, it's enjoyable to play nonetheless. Looney Tunes Dizzy Driving is an isometric racing game, and again, it's dull and annoying. I never liked isometric racing games, but maybe it's just me. Content wise, the game has 6 characters and a few tracks in different shapes. As game modes, you get single and tournament. You can use weapons during races and there is also a demolition derby at the end of tournaments. Overall, the game is dull, both in content and in gameplay. Tweety and the Magic Gems is disappointing. It's a Mario Party clone and not a good one. The board is too big to get into action, I mean, at least for me, the best part about Mario Party are the party minigames. Here, while the board has plenty of gimmicks, it takes forever until everyone draws and lands on the effect panels or lands on a minigame tile. And when you get to a minigame, it's boring. The game has 16 minigames and none of them is particularly fun. Also the graphics look like they are a slightly enhanced Game Boy Color game. I don't recommend it again. Tiny Toon Adventures Buster's Bad Dream, called Scary Dreams in the US, is a tough game. It's a beat em up platformer. You get to punch enemies with Buster and you also get some assist characters. Plucky can drop iron bars on enemies and Babs can hit them with a tennis racket or a tennis ball. There are 7 assist characters you can choose from and while assist characters are plenty, enemies are plenty too. You get bats that dive bomb on Buster, panthers that claw you, snakes and they are difficult since you get at least 4 enemies on the screen that attack you at once. The boss battles are tough too, but if you are into this type of games, then you're going to like the hard time you get. Tiny Toon Adventures Wacky Stackers is a puzzle game, and a pleasant one. There's not really much to say about the game, you can see how the game is just from looking at the video. Also the integration of abilities is interesting. Each of the 8 characters in the game has a different ability. And as game modes you get a puzzle mode which consists of 40 puzzles, a survival mode where the puzzle game is ongoing and a mode where you play against all the characters like in an arcade mode. Ok so this was the video, if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe, if you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You would help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.